do that. Um, if you guys are brand new to uh, women sellers, um, this is just a few notes about who we are and how we got started. So we are parents to three little kiddos, um, two boys and one little girl. She just turned one and we're both um, retired, retired, but we, I feel like we work more than we ever have, um, but doing the things that we really love. So I used to be a pharmacist and he was a software developer. And funny enough, every single time I was pregnant, I get into Amazon, but in a different way. So if you guys don't know, there's a lot of different ways to sell on Amazon. So when um, I was pregnant with my first son, Tyler, in 2015, I started with um, retail arbitrage. And then I told Wei, I'm like, hey, look, this is thing that you can buy low and sell high. That's pretty much what retail arbitrage is. So we went into Goodwill, we go, we went to Walmart, Target, like the clearance aisle, and bought things low and sell them high. And of course it worked. And it was a lot of fun because one of our dates actually was at Walmart. We're like, God, uh, you know, we sell everything, we're gonna make 56 bucks. And we're like, instead of spending money on dinner or something, we're spending time together and potentially make money. So that was really fun for us in the beginning. And yeah, those um, aren't a regular date nights anymore. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, date nights now is like movie at home with the kids watching trolls or something. Um, and then we also got straight into private label, which now looking back at, um, private label is something I wouldn't recommend for new sellers just because it requires a lot of um, research, a lot of money. And it's just very, um, you don't see the fruits of your labor until a month later. With, with retail arbitrage, we were able to make sales, some of them right when it hits the Amazon warehouse, um, if not a lot sooner. And it doesn't require a lot of money to get started. So in 2017, I got pregnant with Ethan. And at that time we got back into a thing called branding. So it's very similar to private label, except I built this community and I wanted to like, make this product that has never been found before on Amazon. Um, spent a ton of money on that as well. Launched it, did okay with it. We were able to make a little bit of money, but it just took a lot of time. Just to kind of give you an idea, from the day that I researched the product until it hit the Amazon warehouse, it took six months. So the process was really long and it took us about a year and a half to recoup all the money we made and then and then some. And so we make a little bit of money, but um, we had to recall a lot of the products because it was fragile, it was big. And so it just wasn't something that we felt was right for us. So then in 2019, got pregnant again with Elena. And at that time I heard about Replan. And for, for you guys don't know what Replan is, it's really similar to retail arbitrage. It's just pretty much buying things at retail store, except you don't have to buy them at a clearance price or discount it. You can buy them retail price and resell it for a profit. Um, a lot of people have a hard time wrapping their head around this concept just because how can you buy things at full price and still make a profit on Amazon? The reason really is because you, there are things that are available on Amazon and sometimes it's not available in your city, but it is on Amazon and you have prime shipping. So you just buy it. You think you don't even think twice about it. And sometimes um, there are uh, things that, what's another reason why repent work? Um, yeah, so people love the convenience of Prime. You know, it comes in two days, sometimes even the same day, right? That's crazy how Amazon set up this whole, like, system. Sometimes they even know what you are going to order before you, even you know it, right? Those are kind of like some of the rumors of how good Amazon's algorithm is. Um, their top-notch customer service. If you don't like an item, you can return it, no questions asked. Um, and, uh, you know, people, again, people just, are not really price shopping on Amazon, they're convenient shopping on there. They just wanna, they're looking for something, you know, they're on their phone, they just wanna hit um, buy now and then just forget about it. Yeah, so we um, we actually make a link, we, we wrote an article about like what replen is because some people, um, there's pretty much like frequently asked questions about it. And um, we linked it both on the, in the chat and on Facebook. So you guys can check that out. So then after a few months of researching about replan back in 2019, um, the pandemic happened. And at this time I was seven months pregnant with Ellie and we found ourselves with one income because we, he lost his job 
And then, you know, of course we still have rent. I had a bunch of student loan debt and other bills to pay for. So we got back into kind of like um, this mode that, you know, we have to make it work. So we were really focused on getting replan off, you know, off and running. And so we dedicated a lot of time. He had a lot of time. So he pretty much um, did that full time. I was still working as a pharmacist back then and trying to make it work, you know, 10 hours here, 15 hours there a week so that we can, you know, really ramp up our business and um, make my my goal was to not have to go back to work after I give birth and um, after maternity leave. So I went back to work as a part time and then as an on call pharmacist. And then the business took off so fast that um, I had to resign. And it, it's not that I hate my job or anything. I actually had a really good job, but it wasn't. It just wasn't flexible enough for me to um, to stay with them. And so, it was a very painful and hard decision to make. But I know a lot of you are on that journey, and so I do encourage you to, if you feel like it's right for you, you know, just take that leap of faith and run with it. Because if you keep on dwelling on it, you'll never do it. Because that's what for me, it took me like months before I even decided to sending my letter yeah, and, and the beauty of um having this business or really just any like you know home-based business is that you can scale it right so it doesn't necessarily have to replace your income maybe you want to just kind of make a little bit extra money to pay the bills maybe you put away some you know um money for your kids college funds you know whatever uh, drives you you know you you don't necessarily have to you know go to the level of scaling that we did um, you know, it can really be, it can suit anybody's lifestyle and their time commitments. So it's also important, very important to know your why. So why am I talking about this for Prime Day? It's because I want you guys to get ready for Q4 as well, because Prime Day is like a mini Q4, which I'm going to talk about a little bit more. But knowing your why is very important. For us, it's family. It's being um, able to live a happier and fulfilled life. That's why, that's why what we're doing most of our time now is trying to help other people become um, resellers and also to get out of debt. I, I don't want to see another student loan <laughs> attached to my name ever again. So these are our whys. Um, so if you, you know, type in what your whys is in the, in the chat, we'd love to know, you know, why you started your business? Is this just something that you, you know, you need a little bit extra cash or you want to replace your income? Um, yeah, let us know in the chat.